Uh, from the previous session, I'm about to share now graphical method of vector addition. Then we discussed the, about how can we add vectors by graphical method. In this session, we are going to continue with the triangular law of vector addition. So in session five, in the topic of application of vectors, and we are discussing about the triangular law of vector addition. Kwa hiyo kwenye graphical method we were able to add even more than two vectors but in triangular law we only add two vectors so we can't add more than two vectors by using triangular law so we are saying that the triangular law is appropriate when adding two vector quantities and when we state this law we are saying that if two vectors are represented by two sides of a triangle in sequence the third closing side of the triangle drawn from the tail of the first vector to the head of the second vector represent the resultant of the two vectors in both magnitude and direction. Wayo, kutoa kwenye law yetu, mbayo ni triangular law, tukitaka ku eh, chola illustration, of what is explained in the triangle law tutasema kwamba if two sides of the triangle if two sides of the triangle they are represented by two adjacent sides i mean if two vectors so let's say tuna vector kwanza huyu hapa so if two vectors are represented by two adjacent sides of the triangle tuna vector kwanza huyu hapa I'm equally represented by first side of the triangle. Then to the vector apiri, who you are, I'm equally represented by second side of the triangle. So this is the first side of the triangle. This is the second side of the triangle. Hapa to the angle theta between these two vectors. Who is vector kwanza? Who is vector apiri? To the angle theta, kati our vector awiri. Then the third closing side of the triangle. Law in asemaje, if two vectors are represented by two adjacent sides of the triangle, then the third side of the triangle, the third closing side of the triangle, yani side ya tatu ambaye nakuja ku close triangle, drawn from the tail of the first vector to the head of the second vector. So this closing side is drawn from, is drawn from, the tail of the first vector to the head of the second vector. This is the third closing side. Represent the resultant. Manake tanzia hapa. Uku. Kusabu na chola kwenye. Kama kwenye examu na chola na penseli. Uku manake una ignore. So the third closing side of the triangle. Drawn from the tail of the first vector. To the head of the second vector. Represent the resultant vector. In both magnitude and direction. Kwa hiyo. Hapa tunakuwa tuna vector eh tunakuwa tuna vector mbili. Vector ya kwanza na ya pili wana represent two sides of the triangle. Vector ya tatu wanakuwa resultant vector. So tunachokisema ni kwamba if two vectors are represented by two sides of the triangle in sequence, then the third closing side of the triangle drawn from the tail of the first vector to the head of the second vector represent the resultant of the two vector in both magnitude and direction. Now let's see the solved example of triangular law. Swali limekuja. Find the resultant force F when two forces 9 newton and uh, 15 newton act uh, act on an object at an angle of 60 between them. Kwa tumepewa 9 newton pamoja na 15 newton act on an object with an angle of 60 between them. Kwa angle yiko ngapi? 60. Kwa hapa hilo swali ni simple tu na kwa Solution Tumepewa vectors ambaye ni tisa pamoja na kuminatano. Kwa tutaweka scale kwanza. E, katika solution hapa tutaweka scale. So tutasema scale. Kwa sababu vectors yotu kuna tisa pamoja na kuminatano. Ngoja tumie tu scale ya tatu. Tutumie scale kwa mba. One centimeter represents, represents three newton. One centimeter represents three newton. So therefore... Therefore, our 
how therefore 9 newton is represented 9 newton is represented by 3 cm and 15 newton is represented represented by 5 cm tumepataje hizo maana tunachukua 1 cm is equivalent to uh, 3 newton so 9 newton will be equivalent to x solving for x to cross multiply it apart it is 9 divided by 3 which is equal to 3 cm na kwenye 5 unafanya hivyo hivyo so 1 cm ina representing gap 3 newton 15 newton it will represent gap itakuwa represented by x x utapata ni 15 divided by 3 which is 5 cm so tuende na chola vector zetu vector kwanza alikuwa 3 cm so hapa hakuna haja ya kuweka direction ya kuweka 2 3 cm yale pale and then from there tunaweka angle ya ngapi tuliambia angle of 60 between them so protector then tunapima angle of 60 hapo angle of 60 between them so angle of 60 ni hapa angle of 60 ni hapo so tukishaweka hiyo angle of 60 tutachukua ruler tutaweka hapo tuchola hiyo angle of 60 between them hapa ninahitaji 5 cm so it will start from here hizo ni 5 cm kwa sijafika tu pale kwenye dot ni kwa sababu hapa ndio kwenye 5 cm so this is our second vector third vector ni kuanzia hapa kwenye tail mpaka kwenye head ya huyo hapa so third vector tutaichora pale paka tuyola vizuri tuchora third vector from there up to here hiyo itakuwa our third vector so measuring the the length of the third vector which is result on the vector measuring the length of the third vector utaona hapo tumepata ni 4 4.3 hiyo ni 4.3 kipima hiyo ni 4.3 kwa hiyo 4.3 eh 4.3 cm so from our scale from our scale manake itakuwa resultant vector ni sawa sana 4.3 kuzidisha mara ngapi? Mara 3 newton. So tapata 3 mara 3 9, 3 mara 4 12.9 newton. Kwa 12.9 newton hiyo ndo resultant vector. Hapa hakuna haja kutumia graph paper, ni wewe tu kiweza kupima angle vizuri. There is no need of using graph paper. Triangle law inakuwa inaenda kama hivyo. Kwa hiyo tukirudi kwenye daftari yetu hapo kwenye notes tutaona watumia scale ya ngapi ya, ya 3 1 cm represent 3 newton lakini using a ruler and a protector we draw the forces in position as shown in the figure below so ki draw hizo uh, two forces in position mm, nimekuchorea hapa lakini ngoja nikupimie tena hapa uone tumeweka huyu ni ngapi 3 cm you see 3 cm then nikupimia tena protector hii angle uone kwa ni 60 ili kwamba ujue kwamba hii ni jibu ambalo sijabahatisha nimechora kwa napima hii angle unaona ni ngapi ni angle ya 60 so with an angle of 60 between them ni angle ya 60 kwa hiyo hapo kuna angle ya 60 degree lakini from there pia nikupimie hii vector inafuatia hapa maana kama hiyo angle ni ya 60 tupime hii vector tena tuone kama ni tano yani manaka nataka ni prove kila kitu kwamba it is correct so hiyo diagram nimechora tu it is correct so kionza pale na hiyo zero unaona vector yetu imefika mpaka mpaka tano na nikichora nikipima hiyo resultant yetu kuanzia zero hapo unaona imefika mpaka mpaka ngapi mpaka 4.3 hapo kwa hiyo eh, hivi ndivyo ambavyo tunafanya triangular law Tasema tu the resultant force F is represented by 4.3 cm. 
Using our scale, the resultant force will be uh, 3.4 times 3, which is heo up. Kwa hiyo, hiyo ni example 1 ya triangular law. Tuenda kwenye example 2 ya triangular law. Example 2, anasema two forces, one of 8 newton and other of 6 newton are acting on a body. Two forces, 8 newton, mwenye ya 6 newton, acting on a body. Given that the two forces are acting perpendicular to each other, find the magnitude of the third force which would just counter the two forces. Magnitude of the third force which would just counter the two forces. Sasa, tunapo sema force inayo counter, manake ni kama ina cancel. Kwa hiyo, e forces, e force lazima yue equal in magnitude with the resultant force but in different direction. Kwa hiyo, tunatumia scale kama kawaida, tunatafuta resultant force kama kawaida, lakini hii resultant force tutakai ipata manake find the magnitude so tumeambia find the magnitude of the third force hatujaambiwa find the resultant vector kwa tunatumia triangular law ile magnitude tutakai ipata ndio itakuwa sawa sana force itakayo count kwa sababu tumesema force inayo count ni sawa sana force inayo cancel the effect manake lazima iwe equal the force which would counter the two forces must be equal to the resultant Kwa tukipata magnitude of resultant force ni sawa sawa na magnitude ya force itakayo counter the two forces. So from there, tutasema kwamba tuko na two forces. Eh, tuko tuna 8 newton and tuko na 6 newton. Na tuliambiwa kitu chingine kwamba the two forces are acting perpendicularly. Perpendicularly manake we have an angle of 90 between them. So find the magnitude of the third force. Tunatumia scale kama kawaida, tutaweka scale, then in our scale you can say 1 cm represent, represent 2 newton. Therefore, therefore, 8 newton is represented, represented by 4 cm and uh, 6 newton is represented represented by 3 cm so from there tuta chola vector yetu wa kwanza mbaya takuwa ni vector yetu wa kwanza takuwa ni eh, 4 cm so tuta chola vector yetu wa kwanza 4 cm up to here this is our first vector and then vector P lazima wa perpendicular so, kwa hii vertical line niyo chola papendikula manake takuwa horizontal. But kama hawa minisana, basi ni vere watu ukatumia protector ya kwa hapo. Kama hawa minisana, mstari wako ni vema kutumia protector. Then kwa protector, angle ya 90 ni yapa. So, this is the angle of 90 kwa protector. Kwa nitachola, hii vector angle ni 4 cm. Nitachola my second vector which is 3 cm from here. Ntachola, ntaifanya yu straight na ako ka point ya po. Kifisha fanya yu straight, nita draw yu vector mboni 3 cm. So my 3 cm taishia hapo. This is, will be my second vector. Now the third vector which counter the two must be equal in magnitude but in opposite direction with the resultant. Kwa tachola, a straight line from here. Toka pale juu mpaka hapo. Kwa hiyo, kwa sabi situ na na magnitude. Resultant vector direction yake ni hapa. Kwa sabi resultant vector kwa triangular law ananzia pale kuja hapa. Ananzia kwenye tail of the first vector kuja kwenye head of the second vector. Huu ni resultant. Lakini force tule ulizwa ambaya na counter hawa wili. Ana cancel effect hawa wili. Ata kwa ni opposite direction. Mana kwenye direction hile pale. Lagini so leto nataka magi into the direction. So tuta measure the length of this line. Na I think you can observe that the length of this line it is 5 cm. So uh, the length the length of R ni sawa sana 5 cm. So resultant force R itakuwa sana 5 cm. Tukizidisha na scale yetu ambari kwa 2 newton, which will be equal to 10 newton. Kwa hiyo, tutakacho kisema ni kwamba, the force, 
F, which will counter the two, will counter the two forces. E is 10 Newton. But this force, remember, must be in the direction opposite to the direction of resultant force. Opposite to the direction of resultant force. Na ndiyo mana ya counter the two. But alternative way, kwa sababu hapo tuna 4 na hapo tuna 3 cm. And here we have the right angle, the triangle. Alternative way, instead of drawing, ungeza kutumia Pythagoras theorem. So by Pythagoras theorem, ambo ni alternative way, Pythagoras theorem. By Pythagoras theorem, ungepata 4 square plus 3 square is equal to R square. That means... Kumina sita plus nine is equal to R square. So ishina tano itakuwa sana R square. Uta square, uta square, uta pata R sa sana five centimeter. Lagini mwingine angeza kutumia Pythagoras theorem direct. Kwamba badala kutumia scale, akasema hii hapa ni ngapi? Eight newton, hii hapa ni six newton. Then akasema resultant force ni ule pare F. So, akachukua 8 square plus 6 square ni sawasana F square. 64 plus 36 ni sawasana F square. So, hapo tapata 100 is equal to F square. Square root square root F itakua sana 10 newton. Lakini kwa so letu hapa liko na itaji utumie triangular law. Izo nyingine ni just alternative ways. Hili swale tuliko nataka tutumie triangle law. So, kuna kuleti hapo, kutumia scale na kueka hizo hapo. Vector diagram yetu naonekana kama hivo. Lakini nozo kawona vector diagram tiyo chora sisi huku na alio chola ye imetofautiana. Yani, kitu ni kire kire final utapata jibu mbao ni hile 10 newton. 10 newton doji blako. So, a force of 10 newton acting in the opposite direction. Uh, acting in the opposite direction is F will be needed to counter the two forces. From there, up appear to the numerical problems in Biri. Kuna hii numerical problem ya kwanza. Find the resultant force when two forces 8 newton, pamoja na 16 newton. Form an angle of 45, 60, and 120 between them. Kwa hiyo, iso ni easy tu. Unaweka scale, unachola eh, vector kwanza, unapima angle, unachola vector apiri, una pima the third crossing side, unachola the third crossing side, unapima then unangalia resultant force ni ngapi. Ilo swali ni hize ni kama tu mfano tuyofanya. So, mtaitaji ufanya ya maswali na utume majibu kwa namba yangu ya WhatsApp. Then tutafanya correction wapi ambako mekosea. From there, numerical problem number three, two forces 9 newton and 15 newton act an, on an object with an angle of 60 between them. Find the resultant force. Kwa resultant force, hilo swali inafanana tuna hilo hiyo problem. Numerical problem number 3 na number 2 zinafanana. Kwa utafanya hizo numerical problem. Then after that, in the next session, tutasoma parallelogram law of vector addition. Parallelogram law of vector addition. So let's wish you nice studies.